I've got two easy keto dinner ideas that will rescue you from the fast food drive through line. And they take only 15 minutes to cook and bake. Trying to figure out what to make for dinner is the last thing I wanna do after a very long day. But I have two solutions for you. Both of these meals use ingredients that you probably already have in your pantry, and if you don't, then you should, because these will be a go-to meal for those nights when you really need a quick meal. Like you only have like 15 minutes. Sometimes I only have 10 minutes to cook. Plus, these are all made in one pot, so cleanup is a breeze. Not only will these meals help to keep you on track, but they're also family approved. Now let's get to cooking so I can show you how to make some easy keto dinners. First up is my Fiesta baked cod. And don't you dare turn your nose up at fish because you have not tried this recipe yet and it's actually quite delicious because we're gonna jazz it up with a few simple ingredients. I always keep cod in my freezer. I usually get those individual frozen packs so I can pull them out just however many I need. You can use any white fish for this recipe from cod, tilapia, rockfish you could use too if you're here in the Pacific Northwest. Using frozen fish is a great solution for when you don't know what to cook for dinner because it's something that you can always have in and it takes just a few minutes to thaw using a cold water bath. Like I mentioned, everything is just going into one dish, so pull out your favorite baking dish, and we're gonna layer our cod down onto the bottom. Make sure you pat your cod dry first with a paper towel just to remove any excess moisture, and then sprinkle it with some salt to season it, and a little drizzle of avocado oil, or you can use olive oil. Next, we're gonna add some flavor, and these two ingredients I always have on hand. The first is a low sugar balsamic vinaigrette. This is the one I use, it's very low in carb. You're gonna need around a quarter cup of that. And if you can't find this dressing, well, you could actually use balsamic vinegar. It does have some carbs in it, so you just wanna lightly drizzle it on because it is gonna be a lot stronger than using this vinaigrette dressing. Then we're gonna add four ounces or around a half of a can of Rotel, which is the chilies with tomato. Make sure you drain it first before sprinkling that all over your cod. And then finally, we're gonna to top it with a half a cup of shredded cheese. Then we bake this in the oven at 425 degrees for only 10 minutes. Super simple and delicious. Serve it with some cauliflower rice or your favorite vegetable and you have a complete meal. Before we move on to our next simple dinner recipe, I wanted to share with you guys a solution that has really helped me when it comes to making dinner, and that is Green Chef. Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic company that helps you cook delicious meals with options for every lifestyle. Keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, Mediterranean, fast and fit, gluten-free, whatever your lifestyle is, they have a solution for you. You get expert chef curated meal kits delivered right to your door and each kit has all the ingredients you need along with step-by-step -step instructions to help you through the cooking process. And they're all delicious. So if you need help getting dinner ready on the table in time, then you need to check out Green Chef. Just use my code KETOFOCUS130 and you can get $130 off plus free shipping on your first box. Go to greenchef.com for more details. Not only was this easy to prepare with all of the ingredients pre-portioned out for me, but it was so good. Again, just head over to greenchef.com and use my code KETOFOCUS130 to get $130 off plus free shipping on your first box. My next easy keto meal is beef and broccoli. And instead of using steak, I'm gonna use ground beef because if you're like me, you always have ground beef in your refrigerator or your freezer. Again, this is a one pot meal, but this time we're gonna use a skillet. Add in about a quarter cup of avocado oil into your skillet, and then we're gonna add a pound and a half of ground beef and cook that over medium high heat until your beef is cooked through. And instead of using a spatula, I'm gonna use my meat chopper tool. I'll have it linked down below on where I got it because you guys always wanna know. Once our ground beef is cooked, we're gonna add in two cloves of minced garlic and then a few dashes of onion powder. Next, add in a half a cup of soy sauce, or if you're gluten-free, use tamari sauce, or use liquid aminos if you think that soy is the devil. Then a quarter cup of sesame oil and four teaspoons of apple cider vinegar, or you could use rice vinegar or white vinegar, any type of vinegar you have on hand. Stir that all together and then throw in the broccoli. I usually have a bag of these broccoli florets in my fridge, but you can add whatever vegetable in your fridge that's starting to go bad. Asparagus, bell pepper. This one doesn't look good. Ew. 
you know, maybe won't use that one. You need to use up these vegetables. It's better than having them go to rot in the back of your fridge. I don't know why I keep throwing things. After about five minutes or so, our broccoli has softened and we're ready to serve. Once again, dinner is ready in 15 minutes and cleanup is gonna be so easy because we just used one pot. If you want more easy keto dinner recipes like my skillet lasagna recipe, well then click right here to check that out.